Well, it's absolutely exciting. I mean, as an individual, as a female footballer, all of the above, and signing for such a big club, um, it's a great move for me and just to be a part of such a great club who's doing something for women's football, it's absolutely exciting. You mentioned Celtic are obviously turning professional. Just how big of a, a move is that in terms of, of the women's game? And, you know, Celtic are such a big club. They must have, they'll have a lot of infrastructure to help the women's game develop as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's huge because, you know, there's been a lot of countries and teams trying to go professional over the years and you know you need that infrastructure in order to do well obviously the players and coaches and staff are a big part of that but just having the Celtic name to support us and the men's side and everything about this the fans that's huge you know to have all the fans behind us um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Can you tell us a little bit about your background in football where did you start and how did you make your way here? Um, so back in the States, um, I played at a university, Wake Forest in North Carolina, and then my first year professional, I was in Sweden um, in the first division with Kopenberg Gothenburg, um, and then I was in North Carolina with North Carolina Courage, and then every cell for a year, and then I was um, in France last year for six months with LOSC, and then I'm here. So you thought you've had a lot of experience. What are you expecting yeah. then here in Scotland with Celtic? Um, I mean, just a lot of great football. I've known the girls for a little bit now, and it's a great chemistry already, so that's huge, you know. Um, so being able to come out and develop, and, you know, Fran's come along now too, so getting to know his style and tactics, um, playing good football, but also, you know, grinding football, you know, the Scottish way, I think, a little bit. So it'll be exciting. 